Hey everyone, welcome to our final episode of the Jill Run. Uh, things are going pretty well for us right now. Lisa got closure, found her mother. Uh, we finally got more ink ribbons. Yep. And we only have a handful of key items left to obtain. And this is a pretty small area. Should so, I carry this with me or do I leave it? Uh, you should carry it with you. We are in the underground laboratory that we've read so much about, finally. It's knife time. Two <laughs> knives, dual wielding knives. Oh my god. Hey, Joe, Joe could be a dual wielder. I could see that. Oh, are you going to be saving that for the final boss? Mm hmm. Is there going to be a box between me and lab, yes. lab fight? Yes. Okay. So I'll just take this for now then. Yeah, that's good. Oh, well, you want to put your ink ribbon away. Okay. Alright. Let's do this shit. In case y'all aren't doing it right, go ahead and like have the blankets over you, have the lights off. Well, at least spooky for me. This ain't spooky to, to Eris. Mm -mm. Oh, and if you accidentally, uh, like, you know, blow, don't blow off a zombie's head, uh, there's a kerosene can right there. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yes! You got some herbs? Mm -hmm. Some herbs. Yeah. Come on, bud, get back up. Oh, that's dead. Oh, damn, okay. Yeah, I thought so. <laughs> I, I heard a, a, a groan. Okay, well, you're being slow, so I'm gonna go down this way. Imagine there was a zombie on the stairs. Mm -hmm. Barf. Oh shit! Oh shit! Stab! That, yeah. Well, there goes your dagger. Mm -hmm. At least you have another, though. I have a few. Oh, wow, you do. Okay, I was Ooh. like, I feel like there's something here, but I couldn't see anything. Nice, nice. I like it. Mm -hmm. That's where you came from. Okay. Cool, so that's a loop. I'm gonna check this other door. Oh shit! You got some magnum rounds. Mm-hmm. That's good. So you have like what, 18 magnum bullets now? Something. That'll That's be, a lot. That'll be good for the later. Mm-hmm. What? Right. Go ahead. V Act. Researchers note: There is now evidence that when the host loses consciousness, the body goes into a dormant state. During this time, the virus becomes active and rapidly transforms and reconstructs the basic co composition of the body. The host eventually mutated into a humanoid creature. We call them V-Acts. 
Its speed and amazing muscular development are particularly noteworthy. After transformation, it becomes more agile and aggressive. Already four of our researchers have died from trying to feed it, turning the place into an instant bloodbath. Ever since this tragic and barbaric accident, we have decided to call its kind Crimson Heads. That dangerous and precious prototype specimen can't be left there. We have to figure out a way to deal with it. Termination is definitely not an option. We finally decided to freeze the specimen and confine the body inside the basement of the backyard cemetery. Well, we killed that thing. Mm -hmm. That was prototype one of the Crimson Head. Or a circle, I guess. I'm trying. Oh. Nope. <laughs> uh, start. <laughs> I'm trying to just do this to see if it'll kick me out. Oh. Try start. Oh, no, okay. Um, I cannot leave. May I? Oh. What on earth? <laughs> What'd you do? I, I pressed the escape button. <laughs> okay. Well, now you know you have to find a login and password. Yeah. I think I vaguely know what it is, but I'll actually find it. Not a loop. I thought it was a loop too, first time I played. Hmm. Check your map, see where you haven't been. Yeah, I think there was a door over here. Close, it's just down the hall. Not that hall. Hmm? There's a door there. Red means locked, gray means it's unlocked, but you haven't gone through it yet. Hmm. Excuse me. out there. I didn't see it when I first loaded, when it first came up for some reason, but I saw it after I walked a bit. Mm -hmm. Raccoon herb. Did you mean to do that? No. I didn't mean to do that. <laughs> I was trying to combine it. <laughs> well... I have wasted a healing item because I was fine. Do you want to restart the save? Or do you want to live with the consequences of your I'll actions? I'll deal with my consequences. locked. I didn't know that door's ever locked. That's interesting. Can I mess with this?
Lungs, esophagus, liver, stomach, large intestine, small intestine, and a colon. To use the electronic door, place the initials in alphabetical order. I guess like that, yeah. <laughs> There's no change. Wait, what? Oh. Yeah. Alphabetical order. Uh-huh. You want this one? Go ahead. June 8th, 1998. My dearest Ada, by the time you read this letter, I will no longer be the person you once knew. The results of my test came out today, and as I suspected, it came out positive. I feel like I am teetering on the edge of reason just thinking about my impending doom. I would give anything not to have to become one of them. As far as I know, you are not infected. I sincerely hope things do not reach such a desperate pass. But if it has turned out that you are now the last person remaining alive, I want you to get the material from the visual data room. Then activate the self-destruct system in the power room and escape from here. Please do everything in your power to make this whole accident public. If everything is still running normally, you should be able to release all the locks using the security system. I have set up the terminal in the small security room so that you can log in to the system using my name and your name as a password. You will need another password to release the lock of the door in the, le in the basement level 2 where the visual data room is located. As a safety measure, I have coded that password into an x-ray picture. Uh, how do you pronounce that? Rowinch. <laughs> Pro and genogram? Pro and genogram? Something like that? I know you, and I'm sure you'll be able to work it out without any trouble. There is just one more thing, and it is my last request. I hope you never have to lay eyes on me in this state, but if you do happen to run into me in my hideous form, I beg you to put me out of my misery. I hope you understand. Thank you, Ada. Yours truly, John. Yeah, so that's the password for the other thing. Mm -hmm. Can I... That's the... Oh, the colon's glowing red. Yeah, so that one's got red colon, that one's got red esophagus. esophagus. No. Is that the same? Mm, yeah, that was the same one. Liver? Lungs. lungs. Think you know the password? Yeah, it was lower. Colon, esophagus, liver, lungs. Where do I am? Uh, the, the same computer that you found earlier. Oh. Yeah, password cell. Yep. You got it. This one? Yes. And once you unlock everything, go, go back to that door that was locked. That I was surprised was locked. Once you do need something. Oh, he's already turning red. That's not gonna be fun. Eh. It's fine. It's not three this time. That's true. That is true. One's not a problem. Nope. What? I accidentally hit escape. Either 
not going to cut out. <laughs> <laughs> it's just a backwards J on this keyboard. <laughs> Alright. So you unlocked basement two. Yes. Look at you go. Okay, unlock thing. Um, Was that a puzzle you liked? Yeah. Good. I like having to think about things and not just be like... Put this there. <laughs> yeah, take this thing halfway across the goddamn world and put it there. That's not a puzzle, that's just annoying. That's just busy work. I guess. Naked ones don't come back as crimson heads, so it's not bad. I still want to explode them <laughs> with shotgun. I'm pretty sure that's a problem for later me, right? Mm-hmm. You remember now? I No, I vaguely remembered it. I just don't remember, like, the... The process of it. Facts. I remember that it's a thing that I have to deal with and that I don't want to. <laughs> I can do it for you. Eh, we'll see how it goes. Two, Sanitation Division. From Raccoon Disaster Contingency Committee. The contents of this fact are confidential and intended for the named addresses addressee only. Any copying or disclosure of the contents of this fax to any third party is strictly forbidden by the sender. After reading the contents of this fax, it must be destroyed immediately. Well, someone didn't do their job. We expect significant increase in the damage done by the recent T-virus. T-virus is outbreak than initially estimated. There are several concerns. First concern, more than half of the researchers have been infected by the T-virus and died. It has also been reported that almost all of the survivors of this accident are starting to show symptoms of the T-virus infection. Second concern, our, security, our secret security patrol team has also been completely eradicated. Therefore, our most secret research is in danger of public disclosure. Quick actions are demanded to prevent mass media coverage. Third concern, there is a high possibility that most of the specimens are running loose inside the compound. We expect many casualties to follow. However, yet unfortunate, these casualties underscore the success our research, our research results. Actions must be taken to prevent our research results from being made public. We suspect the first official intervention will come from the state police and STARS. We strongly recommend taking measures against them first. Well, you took measures alright. All of Bravo team's gone. Mm -hmm. Oh, wait. Something else. Do I take it? There's nothing to take yet. Okay, you said there was something else? Oh. Well, if you had a Mo disc, you could transmit. Well, what do you know? I've got a Mo. Yep. Got a Tiger Mo. <laughs> tiger Mo. Okay, is that it now? Yeah. Can I zoom on out of here? Mm hmm. Dirty lab coat. 
Cool. Oh. Crimson? Yes. And then you can go back upstairs. Yeah. Oh yeah. How many spaces do you have? Okay, you're good. Mmm, maybe. You need at least one more. Actually no. No, you're good. You're good. You're good. Oh. Oh that's right. You didn't die high, I wanted you to. Okay, well you ain't back yet. No. But you're still there. Oh, oh, I thought he was gonna be oh, further down no. Uh, <laughs> I knew uh, he was there. I thought he was gonna be further down the hallway because he was being slow as shit last time. A Got a new mode. Okay, give me my dagger back, bitch. Mm. Yeah. Right in his ass, okay. <laughs> you saw that, right? Heck yeah. Okay. Uh, I was gonna put the mellow desk in. Oh, you, there's only you can only put one in. Oh. There's so there's multiple. there's there's two more transmitters. Oh. Yippee. A mode disc. Mm hmm Put the... Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, boo-woo. So, go back. Oh, okay. Well, bioorganic weapon is what B-O-W stands for, y'all. Yeah, and then there's... Neptune. Big shark. Hunter. Sweet. Tyrant. Ooh. Bioorganic Weapons Research Group. Development Staff. Well, would you look at that? Look who's on the right, y'all. It's Glasses him. Man. It's Glasses Man. It's the captain of Alpha Team. Our captain. He worked for a- he worked here. Uh-huh. He sure fucking did. And someone was ordered to learn stars here. Mm-hmm. See, Barry's a good man. Wesker is not. <laughs> Wesker's an ass. <laughs> There's a barcode. There is a barcode. Do we need that number? Is that number important? Uh, sort of. Do I need to write it down? Um, no. You do not. So I don't need to input it somewhere manually? Not exactly. Uh, you have something in your inventory. Uh-huh. Try using that. This? Mm-hmm. Okay, go through it again. Uh oh There you go. 8462. Okay. Yes, please. I believe there's a file like, in that bookshelf. Yeah. You want me to get this one? Yeah, just go ahead. Level 1. Heliport. For executive use only. This restriction does not apply in the event of an emergency. Passage to heliport entry is prohibited unless accompanied by a consultant researcher or the chief of security. Unauthorized persons entering the heliport will be shot on site. Elevator. The elevator stops during emergencies. Visual data room. For use, on, for use by the special research division only. All other access to the visual data room must be cleared with Keith Arving, room manager. Prison. Sanitation division controls the use of the prison. At least one consultant researcher, E. Smith, S. Ross, A. Albert Wesker, Wesker, Albert Wesker, aka Bitch. <laughs> Sunglasses man. 
must be present if viral use is authorized. Sorry, that was loud. That's okay. It's a wheelchair, y'all. Uh, triple lock door. Entry into the room is limited to the sole person who deactivates the lock with all of the passcodes. Accessing the exclusive output terminals located in each section of the senior researchers deactivates the lock. Power room. In this room, nitro compound is used as the primary fuel source of power. Access is limited to headquarters supervisors. This restriction may not apply to consultant researchers with special authorization. Passcode output terminals. Oh, that's the modus thingies. Mm -hmm. Use and use and access of the output terminals is limited to authorized senior researchers. Regarding the progress of tyrant after administering of T virus, illegible hereafter. So I guess it's tyrant virus. T is tyrant? Yeah. Cool. T is for tyrant. Nice. And Albert is for asshole. What? Okay. Just... You look like you were about to pick it up. Yeah, because nope. I wanted to make you panic. Here? Other side of the room. Is this a door? It is. It's a garbage door. What do you mean, other side of the room? <laughs> I don't remember what it was. Eight, four, six, two? Cool. <laughs> you got the key. Power room key. Looks like you can use it to view Kenneth's film all the way from the beginning, you know. That's embarrassing. Also, that's a lot more gunshots than we heard at the beginning. We only heard one. Yeah. Anything else here? No. Okay. Check if he was alive yet or not. Uh, this key only opens two doors, by the way. Yeah, then they're both. Open. I heard a scuffling. Excuse me. <laughs> Yeah, I know. I'm going to get it. Can I not climb up here? I thought I had to like climb up and go. Okay. Oh, I guess you didn't. You were too close to the hole. Oh. Yeah. That's interesting. I don't know you could do that. Yeah, I thought if you push the shelf shelf all the way, it block it off. Oh. You're probably right. Um, yeah. Is there anything else in here, or do I have to go through the? You have to go through. And I want to go to the wall hole. Can I get 
off this box. <clears throat> oh shit! Oh no! Holy shit! Oh, those are, um, friends. Those are called Chimera, by the way. They're friends. I think this is an area where they don't stop coming in here. So you might want to get out. That's where he came from, but no, not, not, not that vent. Why not that vent? I don't know. I just, I've never gone through that vent. Well, then I'm going through that vent. Okay. If there's not a reason I, to I, not I, go through the vent, then I'm going to go death. through It might be death. I don't know. And then, then, fuck me then. Oh. <laughs> it's fine. <laughs> See, it's fine. It just brings you back to the morgue. Yeah, but it doesn't kill me. I don't understand where you're telling me to go. Oh, I didn't see that. My gamer eyes aren't working today. Mm -hmm. Ooh, lightning. trying to see where it was going because I couldn't tell where it was going. Okay. No. Don't leave. What? Can I use the one of the discs? Yes. Okay. Well, now you have the space for that uh, first aid spray you saw upstairs if you want to get it. Mm-hmm. Yay. You're, like, really close to finishing this area, by the way. Go in there though. Check your map. Oh. Hate fixed camera so much. Your gamer eyes today are like five out of ten, huh? Ooh, another heal spray. And ink ribbons. It's not that's not a matter of gamer eyes, it's a matter of the fixed camera is stupid and dumb. I thought the door stood out. Ooh, no, and grenade it, rounds. It, it does not. Refrigerator. 
tragic. Next. Joe. <laughs> Joe, please. Oh, you have 24 rounds. No, oh, it's in the grenade in launcher. Cool. Um, do I need to bring anything with me? Uh, as of right now, no. You can put your incendiary shells away. Oh yeah, you're right. Cool, I've got a stack. And unless you plan on saving, incredible. Yeah, I don't. <laughs> You're about to get your final key item of the game. Cool. It's what you've been dreading. Oh, the yeah. battery, the nitro <laughs> bullshit. Yeah. Great, thanks. Okay. I'm gonna bring both of my knives. <laughs> or not. Sure. No, it's I'm your not, game. I'm not gonna. Why'd you shoot? I heard a noise. <laughs> you didn't even try to auto aim. I... You're just like, I think there's something in front of me. I heard a boom. Re See, I'm there's no. <laughs> I heard that. Excuse me. I think it's on the ceiling. It's dangerous when it's on the ceiling. You should just go through the door. Oh. oh shit, it's... Interesting. Ah! Interesting. No! Interesting. <laughs> oh my god. Ooh. Ooh. Go straight. Don't I need to kill them though? I... I hit done. Oh. Okay, now you want to go back to the previous room. You might want to reload the post. Oh! That you know, that was the door you had to go through. Yeah, I want to do it over here. There was a battery pack. <laughs> huh? There was a battery pack. Where? On the floor. Right there. Oh. Cool. Were you hoping you'd be immune from with the the frames? No, I was just hoping I could just immune past him. Oh. Uh. <laughs> Fuel may explode if shaken or jarred, but it's empty, so there's no fuel in it. So you can mm -hmm. you, you can like be fast. <laughs> Do I need to kill these things so they're out of the way though? Yes. The ones in this room, yes. So that one's dead. There's one more. There's one that was human away from me. So I guess you could you and come back. Oh, there he is.
and reload. Jeez. What? Those things freak me out, that's what. Everything freaks you out. Yeah. You're not wrong. This way? Yes. Boy, wouldn't it be a shame if a crimson had attacked you while you had to be not fast. <laughs> Looks like a refilling device. Set the capsule in. The main ingredient of this fuel appears to be nitro compound. Running could result in a fatal explosion. I'm on an escort quest. Do you know where to put it? Back at the door, right? Yeah, back in the thingy. In the control thingy. Yeah. This is an escort mission. It is. Gotta walk next to someone going very slow. Walk very slow. Or like in the Mandalorian episode where they couldn't use light speed. Uh huh. So they had to go very slow. Is that a spoiler? I don't think it's a spoiler. Um, it's the basic point of the episode, so I don't think it's that bad. It's not like we're saying what happens. It's, that's yeah. like the set up point of the episode. It yeah. happens in the first like five minutes. Alright, fair enough. I thought I was hearing footsteps, but it was just the wire sparking of the ceiling. I was like, there shouldn't be any zombies left in here. What's going on? I heard that goopy noise. Ah, shit. Oh my god. Oh. Oh my god! Yo! Just shoot it immediately. Bow! <laughs> Sit down, bitch. <laughs> okay. Wait. Alright. Yeah, supply the power to the power room. Okay, so where do I go? Uh, check your map. Um, the one door you haven't gone through. The red one? There's two doors I haven't been through. Green one. Oh. Uh, green. Uh... Great. Friends? Friends are here. I don't think they're friends. Fly men. They are. Oof. You don't have to. 
You can just do your business and leave. I wanted to shoot him. I don't know where I'm going. What I'm doing. Okay. Oh! oh. That's not ideal, is it? It's okay. You got your knife. Oh, you're dead. Oh. See, the problem is nothing in this game stands out in the background. Uh-huh. So it's hard to, like, tell what's just environment and what's interactable. I don't know. Yep. I suggest save it before going into the other one. Do you want to get the first aid spray before going? Cool. We got a plan, y'all. There's a crimson head Yeah, there might be a crimson head up. There is a crimson head up because I killed that one before the other one and the other one's already up. was already up. Uh-huh. So there is one. He's not up. Thank you. Cool. You want to reload? Just in case that crimson head attacks you as soon as you come out. Why did you do that? I didn't mean to. Oh, you were still holding the aim button when you were trying yep. to go through the door. Yep. Ah! <laughs> he is not up. I wonder if he could still burn his body. Wow. I doubt it. I think it's too late to burn the body. Like, as soon as you try, he'll just stand up. He'll go, hello? Ooh. Good morning. That noise. Wait, what am I going? Oh, you want to save first? Oh. Yeah. Please. I suggest a self-defense gun. Wherever it may be. And just for good measure, probably the grenade launcher too. Magnet or...? Nah, I'd save that for the last boss. Mm -hmm. Alright, you should be good. I think this might be overkill, but you should be good. Good. Fine. Better safe yeah. than sorry. Yawn. I am yawn. Well, if you save over that, we can't go back and get the berry photo. Unless you want the berry photo. You don't want the berry photo. Right. I do want it. Alright. Let's do this shit. <sighs> uh, uh, oh, 
be in Kribben. <laughs> I like my ink, okay? This way? Yes. Do I need to go through that door that I opened all this stuff to? Hmm? I op put a bunch of green lights in that one door, do I need to go through there? You don't have to right now, but you can if you want to. Eh. It's where a friend is. Jill! Barry! You could have at least waited up for me, you know? Let's go. You didn't wait for me. <laughs> he said he'd stay. And then you just went on. That's what I Huh? Oh, you're talking about when he went up the elevator. Yeah. <laughs> he left you. Yeah. He's like, bye. I don't want to be. I don't want to be here anymore. You're, you're probably in danger. Yeah, you're probably in danger, but I'm just gonna go up the elevator, cause fuck you. I wonder if he can, like, shoot Barry. I don't suggest trying, but Can I like... pick that up? Okay. Oh, I didn't even see that. Yeah. Gamer eyes engaged. Thank you, Barry. Well, what do you know? Oh, don't blame Barry for everything. I hear that his better half and two lovely daughters will be in danger if he doesn't do everything I tell him to. <sighs> Wesker, you're pathetic. Well, you shouldn't worry too much, dear. You'll be free of all this anyway. Why eliminate stars? Believe it or not, that's Umbrella's intention. You're just a slave of Umbrella. Smart girl. But I think you misunderstand me. The things you mention are nothing. I'll burn all of them along with this entire laboratory. Barry, go up on the ground and wait there. Barry? <laughs> you gotta love Barry. He must really be afraid of Umbrella. You and Umbrella took his family, you bastard. Oh! Umbrella? Well, I used some carrots and sticks to cow him, but it had nothing to do with Umbrella. I just used Barry for my personal interests. Though both you and Barry seem to think I was following Umbrella's orders. What? What are you planning? I guess it's time for show and tell. Magnificent. For the sake of this thing. You know, I hate goodbyes. <gasps> Barry! Forgive me. No, you're not to blame. It's Umbrella and Wesker. Even if it meant my family, I couldn't bear turning my back on my friends again. Shit! Damn it! <laughs> Jill and Barry together in hell. You want a piece of me? What? Premature. No, Barry! You 
viral cultured freak. Viral culture? Oh. Well, now I know why Barry's been acting so strange. Uh. Oof. Oh god, camera, don't do this. You wanna heal? Oh, he's dead. He's down for the count. I do wanna heal, though. Hey, Barry, you okay? Barry! Barry! <sighs> You're okay. Uh, Jill, sorry. That was careless of me. Wesker. He's gone. First, let's just get out of here. All right, everyone. So that's Tyrant Model 002. Is there anything in here I can pick up? Uh, there's a file. It's on Wesker. I don't know where Wesker is. Unless... They just said he's gone. Oh. I didn't know he was gone. Okay. Uh... Is it a Chris thing? Uh, maybe? I think it's a Chris thing. It might be. Oh, ch check the green glowy thing behind you. I'll just get in the Chris run. Leave. Sure. Ooh, it's locked. Okay. A door. No. Joe. Stop. That green thing. No. Okay. No. I already put that. I suppose not. You were almost there. Hmm? Do you want me to tell you where to go? It's right here. Yay! Wesker must have set it off. Let's hurry! Fuck off. They're fuck off. Little fuck boys.
Jill! Chris, you're okay! Sorry there about the late. Glad to see you are too. Anything on Wesker? We'll talk later. First, let's get going. Alright, so that's Chris Redfield, the second playable character of this game. Oh. Uh, so there's the trophy, sorry for sorry about the wait. Because it took us the entire game to finally free him. At least he had a bad toilet. Mm-hmm. And the toilet paper. That is true. The stairs. Gross wet floor though. Yeah, I'd stay on the bed. <laughs> yeah. I mean he has boots on anyway. He's just like, why are you running like that? Like, <laughs> chill. Are you okay? Come on, let's go. Good thing you know the way, Chris. Why does he know where to go? He's been locked up the whole time. Me. Maybe uh, he was brought there while conscious by Wesker, like at gunpoint or something. Mm -hmm. So it's not like he was unconscious and just like suddenly knows the map. Oh, here we go. Fuck off. Can I kill him? One shot. Take that. You want a knife? <laughs> uh, okay, I think. You want to burn him with a lighter? <laughs> oh, hell yeah. Uh, wait a second. Why? Oh, that happened earlier, and I, on accident. You should be able to combine with the handgun. That's true. I had like a small stack and I forgot that I had another stack somewhere else. And oh, so it ended up doing that. That was not on purpose to mess with you, I swear. Oh, it was on accident. We've come this far. It's the end of an era. Feel good about this? Yes. <laughs> Excuse me. Come on, come on, hurry! Eris now has the remote. <laughs> They're just waiting for you there. Last shimmy of the, of the run. The final shimmy. Hey Barry. What I have. <laughs> it's not as big as his though. Shotgun ammo, which I don't have on me, so I'm going to leave. You don't need it. Huh? You don't need it. So I'm saying I don't have the shotgun on me, so I'm going to leave it there. What's it gonna be? It's a greener! It's a gerb. A singular gerb. Gerbus Herbus? This is Brad. I'm running out of fuel. If there's anyone alive, contact me now or just give me a sign. I repeat, this is your last chance. 
Ruby, Ruby. Oh, so I was editing just a bit ago, just a bit before we started filming, and noticed that when the camera died on episode five at the end, uh, Eris told a story that we totally missed out on about Cards Against Humanity with their mom. Yeah, so we were we were playing once. Uh, it was me, Jules, and my parents, and we had uh, we were using the rule where you have an extra character, and so we we were saying we were pretending that my dog was playing. Yeah. Um, where you just you have an extra person where you just draw randomly for them to have an extra card. Uh, but so one of uh, the cards my mom played and had me read out loud was Tentacle Porn. <laughs> yeah. Detonation. Damn it! We're almost there! Jill, you just get in contact with Brad! No! We can make it. Jill, ladies first. Chris! Would you let me have my moments too? Alright. We'll rendezvous at the heliport. Good door. It's the final door that you'll see of this game. You got signal rockets. Holy shit! Yo! Slapped! God damn! Whoa. can die in this part, by the way. <laughs> Jill, use it! Kill it, whatever it is! Thank you, Brad. Thanks, Brad. I know. Ah! Oh, God. Alpha Team's finest. Turn the tire into confetti. <laughs> I'm a member of STARS. Alright. You did it. Mm -hmm. There it goes. And that is the end of the Jill campaign. Yeah. And this is the good ending, too. We saved Chris and Barry didn't die. Yep.
So the canon ending of this game is actually a mix of both good endings. The good ending for Jill and the good ending for Chris. Because mm -hmm. there's a character in Chris's run that we haven't seen yet who is also here. Yeah. That's Resident Evil, y'all. The first game, or at least with uh, Jill's run. Next yep. we're doing Chris's run, but we're going to be like skipping all the puzzles you saw uh, Jill do because we don't want to get repetitive. And just showing the new things. Yeah, showing the stuff that's exclusive to the Chris campaign. Thank you guys so much for watching, whoever's watching. Yeah, thank you. Uh, this is our first Let's Play of anything, really. Mm -hmm. So I'm glad it was this game because it's a very self-paced game. Yeah. And it just feels so satisfying to finish, at least to me. I don't know if it's satisfying to you, is it? Yeah. Alright. I'm well, glad to be done with this. See you next time, y'all. Bye. Next time on Resident Evil Remastered.